Welcome guys to this new video of dynamic Wix application stuff. So today let's see how we can create multiple pages using the same design layout. So first of all, what, what are we doing here is to start here into Wix.com. Let's access the Wix editor. So first log into your Wix account and navigate to the website you wanted to edit. This appears into the upper side and focus directly into the side you wanted to edit. Let's say for example here, the text press tutorials. Now I choose to edit this side to access the Wix editor where you can make changes directly into your website or choose the design uh, site. So now as you can see, we are now into the section of the accessing the editor. So adding a dynamic page. And the Wix editor, what I'm going to be doing here is to locate the pages menu on the left part side. We can add then select page to create a new page or choose a blank page or any template that suits your need. And I go for manage pages. And to manage pages, I can see that I have add page. So here I can get started with blank page section or to choose an actual element I wanted to get started with. Whether that could be like a store, booking, restaurant, block, pricing plans, or whatever. Just focus all the way down to dynamic pages. So this is an actual layout of what you can do with dynamic content. So we have the latest news, team members, uh, courses, projects, portfolio, and so much more. So I'm gonna be just focusing into, let's say for example, the option that says projects. So I add this page. Now setting up the dynamic page. So once the new page has been added, click into the page settings button to focus and to enable the dynamic pages. So make sure the dynamic page list has been added. So you can see here to have the CMS. That's for how it actually should be appearing my default view. So I'm going to try to go for add item. If I want to add a default, for example, the product name, the gallery, the main project, my product stat, and much more. I can delete, of course, elements from the table and edit uh, more of them later. Now here into action, I can add uh, more dynamic pages inside here like a sub menu or adding a new preset or adding more dynamic pages down to them. For example, like a list pages, an item page, and so much more. Now you can start by designing your dynamic page layout. So customize the design elements. You can add text, images, videos, or any other content you wanted to include. You can use the actual width drag and drop elements criteria here. So you can arrange the element exactly how you want them. Usually the dynamic pages should be appearing directly into the CMS. All the addition to do into one field or into all the fields should be added into the editor and you don't have to do anything inside the editor. That's the reason why dynamic pages just, let's say, copy all the information you have just designed from the projects and of course use it to generate an actual page with the information that you provided. So to edit those, I needed to edit the fields of the item. So I can manage here all the media so I have uh, media number one, media number two, media number three. I can reselect how it actually should be appearing. The main product image, project start one, start two, start number three, and the description. Once you're okay with that, hit now into save. And all the changes should be applied inside the project CMS. And here should be appearing all the information generated for you. So check out how it actually looks. You can change the background if you wanted to. That's totally depending on how you wanted to design your actual website. And lastly, adding content to the dynamic page. So just to add content to the page, just click into the add to the button to choose the data set you wanted to connect with the page, such as a blog, gallery, or a product collection. Even you can add an actual button and move it where you want to get started in. For example, I'm gonna add this in here and change the text icon for, let's say, load more and the link should be something in a specific website, like a web address. And lastly, preview and publish. So before publishing your dynamic page, it's essential to preview how it looks to the besters. So click into the preview section so you can see all the additional changes. You can check out how it actually looks in the preview mode as a desktop or for mobile. So once you make sure it actually looks great for both section or you can scan the view the public site into the mobile, then you can go into published and your site should be now be ready. And that is actually it guys. You have learned how to create dynamic pages and to Wix. So with dynamic pages, you can easily create multiple pages with consistent design elements and saving due time and effort. 
So stop building your dynamic pages today and take your website to the next level, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, this was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great toes from Wix. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.